It's me, Mario. Oh no, actually it says, oh man. Yeah. So I just got done watching this animated movie, Super Mario Bros. 2023, starring Jack Black, Chris Pratt, and a bunch of other people. And it's pretty good. So I just want to give you a quick spoiler review. I'm going to I'm gonna show you the movie, but before I do, I just want to say a couple things really quickly. There's a lot of things I want to say because I, I love my... All my life. And it's really difficult to do a Maya movie because there's just so many different things from the Maya universe that's been around the past the past like forty three years or whatever. Uh there's a lot of uh Easter eggs in this movie. Uh this movie was made for the target audience is like a bunch of five year olds or something, so it's it's not the um it's not the live action movie. From 1993, which was terrible in a lot of ways, but it was live action. It was interesting when they when they brought it to live, and that's what I wanted. I would rather have live action because I just want to see it in a more realistic way, kind of like kind of like kind of like the superheroes, Batman, Superman, Iron Man, S- Spider Man, everybody else, like. I want Mario to be a superhero. I did. I want him to be real, but that's not the movie that that we're getting. But it was pretty good, and there's a lot of really good moments that I want to talk about a little bit. I thought it was really good. Um, there's a couple different things missing from the movie, but give me a break. I mean, how much can you cram into 92 minutes for a a movie like this, an animated movie for children? What can you do? How can you make it any better than what it was? There might might have been uh, a few a few problems with the movie a little bit here and there, but overall, it's a really good story, a very simple, safe story for the most part. There's a couple different components put in there. Uh, I'll I'll let, I'll let you know about that uh, when I when I walk you through the. Through the movie in a second, but first, I just want to say the things that were missing. Uh, Yossi, uh, he made a cameo, but um, he doesn't help out a lot. Uh, Mario has a, a cape in in a commercial, and that's cool. And that's from Mario World, the Super Nintendo Mario World. He had a cape instead of a raccoon for Mario Three, and. He turned into Sonic the Hedgehog, sort of, at the end. Like, he was just flying around in a raccoon suit. And, uh, I don't think that's really realistic. Well, it should have been, like, the the P. You know, that thing, the power-up thing called the P. Uh, what is, what is, what does that stand for? You, you would get it, a power-up, and it had the letter P on his... His uniform, Mario's uniform, and he was able to fly forever and ever. They decided to uh, make the make the raccoon do that instead, and so he's like flying around. And then there was a a star that the Mario brothers were able to to get. Uh, there's one one um one cameo at the end of the movie, and it's like this guy, and he just jumps up just like Mario, and I think that's supposed to be a reference to the jump man who uh Mario is uh based on supposedly there was a there was a game uh with with the jump man in like 1980 and then that turned into Mario and the first Mario game might have been 82 or 83 but before that it was uh jump man supposedly i don't know i'm not no Mario historian don't ask me you go look it up and tell me. It it starts off with a commercial and Mario and Lucy they're just like they're trying to advertise themselves as really good plumbers. And their the father thinks they're a joke in a way. Same thing with uh Donkey Kong. But uh Mario and Luigi, they decide to quit their day job and start their own plumbing job. So 
they were working with the like the wrecking crew people or the the one guy uh what's his name what's his name I want to say Ralph wreck it Ralph no that's not his name but uh Rex no what was his name I, I don't remember but wreck it like uh, the Wrecking Crew, like that, that's, that must be a reference to, to a game, a regular Nintendo game that they had, yeah, uh, when was that, 1985, or after, I don't remember exactly, I imagine that was a game where you just have, you have to wreck everything, uh, and I think Mario might have been in it, and that's why there's a reference to that, so, uh, Mario and Luigi, they, they, they get their first job. They go there and they're, they, they have to, they have to run over there in time. Their, um, their little, um, fan is not working, so they're running over there. Mario's doing all the jumping and hopping and opening the fence for Luigi. They get there, there's a dog. They fix the problem, but then the dog's not happy. And, they run around uh, trying to escape the dog. They got to fix the problem. And eventually they do. And then later on they go home. And then they find out that New York City is flooding. So they go and they try to save the day. Then they get sucked into the Mushroom Kingdom. And they get separated. And then Mario runs into the Mushroom Guy. Who's like excited and helps him get to the castle. Which is pretty much the same as what they had in Mario 64. Which was the first time you saw the the castle in 3D. Uh, unless if they had it in a cartoon or something. I wouldn't know. Um, I, I don't know. what I mean they had a cartoon. Don't know. I don't remember. Uh, I would have to go check to see what what it looked like. What did it look like in the cartoon versions? What kind of castle did they have? Did they did they ever show the castle? But it was definitely very similar or identical to what they had in Mario sixty four. And then they had a uh, Rambo uh, part where. Princess, uh, what's her name? What's her face? Peace was like a tranny, Mario. And uh, eventually, he was able to almost finish the level, the course, the training course, the Eye of the Tiger. And they go uh, to Donkey Kong's place. And they go 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 karting. Uh, it's like Mario Kart. First, uh, Mario had to defeat Donkey Kong. And so that was a, a reference to the Smash Brothers games. And that was really cool. And there was the cat, um, cap, uh, Mario turned into a cat. And then they decided to take a shortcut on the, uh, Star Road, which is another reference to Mario Kart 64. And then Bowser decided to ambush them. And so then you get basically a game of Mario Kart. And they're fighting. And then there was a uh, Jonah and the Whale moment when uh, Mario and Donkey Kong, they get uh, swallowed, swallowed up by some kind of giant whale-like creature. And, and they're like fighting each other. Like they're kind of like, how do I say they're not best of friends? But it's kind of cool uh, seeing Donkey Kong and Mario go at it with each other kind of thing, back and forth kind of thing like that. That was good. Uh, it was really good. And uh, meanwhile, Bowser's like preparing to uh, try to marry. Uh, peace. Uh, 
And so he's like rehearsing what he what he's gonna say. What is he gonna say? How do I look? How does Bowser look? Is a better question. Yeah, 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 yeah. How does he look? Yeah, he doesn't care. He's a talking, walking turtle. Not a not a not a teenage mutant ninja turtle, but you know he's 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 cool in a way, but he's just like obsessed with with the girl, and he's obsessed with the uh, power. So they're um they're fighting and and Bowser uh captures everybody and then he's gonna sacrifice them to impress the girl and then she's like I'm not gonna she's like I'm not gonna marry you at first he was just kind of like she was kind of like okay I'll I'll marry you so that you don't hurt my friend Toad and so in a way she was captured. You know, you you wonder if they were gonna like do that normal storyline plot of the princess was captured and she was captured, and so they did have that in the movie. Early on in the movie, they were trying to get into the castle. Early on, I mean, the uh, princess castle, Mario and the Toad, and the other Toads were like, "Oh, I'm sorry, uh, I don't know any princess here." I mean. Your princess is in, is in another castle. I thought that was a good funny reference to Mario 1. The first Mario game on the regular Nintendo in 85. Back in 85. That's right. Same year I was born. And eventually Mario and Donkey Kong, they were able to escape the whale. Using some kind of like uh, a, a go-kart or a rocket thing. And... Then they start fighting again. Mario was able to fight. Uh, was able to fight Bowser. Uh, before that happened, uh, the princess was able to freeze Bowser, and uh, then Bowser sent a bullet to uh, destroy the the Mushroom Kingdom, and then uh, Mario ran after the bullet, and was basically like Sonic the Hedgehog at that moment. It's like almost like a reference to Sonic, and then they got sucked in, sucked into the real world, which is kind of like a reference to the live action movie. And then they got the star, Mario and Luigi, and they were able to fight a bunch of people. And then, so at that moment, it 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 was almost like uh, the Lego Movie, and um, not as um. Not as um, iconic as the Lego movie. Not as um, Cassie. Not as cool. Like I prefer the the Lego movie. It was probably um, done better uh, in in some ways or in a lot of ways. But uh, I mean, the Mario movie is pretty good. But um, and I really enjoyed Bowser singing. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool having Jack Black as Bowser because, you know, he, he was able to sing a little bit and have those funny moments. And Bowser is a funny guy. He's a funny guy. He's just crazy, too. And uh, that's about it. That's about it. Uh, I mean, that's about it. I mean, there's just, you know, I love, um, I may not look like it, you know, look at me. I may not look like anything. I may look awful, but. You know what's not awful? Mario. And there's just so many things you can do with Mario. And there's just so many different games. And you can't really reference everything. In only... Only how many minutes again? How many minutes did I say? Like 92? Hour and a half? Basically an hour and a half. Um, not even two hours. Like in a Star Wars movie it would be two hours... So you can only do so much. There's so many different games. I mean, think about it. Dr. Mario. Uh, Mario Tennis. Mario Kart, they did. Uh, but then there's like there's like uh, Mario Golf. There's Mario Basketball. Um, there's uh, Wario. is not in the movie at all. Uh, Luigi. Uh, no, Waluigi is not in the movie. As far as I know. Uh, there's just probably a lot of different characters and things and references that were not in the movie, but 
you know, Chris Pratt was talking about it. And he's like, I, I guess he was saying that, that they're hoping to uh, make more movies or shows or whatever. And that would be good. If they're able to uh, uh, do more. I want to see more. I want to see Yoshi, man. My main man, Yoshi. Illumination. Boo, boo, boo. Nintendo. The penguins live at the ice place. You can't get us. And then Bowser gets them. Mario and Luigi was working for this guy. It says Wrecking Crew on his shirt. There's a reference to a game. Wrecking Crew. A wizard. Bowser getting a star. Woo woo. Only one star. It's the Super Mario Brothers plumbing. They fly around in the cape from Mario World. I wonder if this is a reference to Daisy. Uh, Daisy was a redhead. And she's reading the line for the commercial they're doing. And she's like, the only thing uh, Mario's not draining is my wallet. My wallet? The dog. Uh, notice the sign says Castle Burger. Mario's doing all the jumping and stuff. Luigi's just running. It's Mario's dad. He's not happy with Mario. You don't quit your day job or a crazy dream. Meet the family, the Mario family. Old Mario, uh, Grandpa, Grandpa Mario, Father Mario, Son Mario. Bunch of random people. They all look the same. There's Mario playing Nintendo. What else is he doing? Oh, no, there's a flood. There's there's a plumbing problem happening in Brooklyn. Mario's like, here's our opportunity. We gotta go. So that's what they do, and they try to... But then they get sucked into the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh no, a talking mushroom. A reference to Mario Galaxy. They finally arrive at the Prince's Castle. They go up. The guard's like... Your princess is in another castle. But then the other toad uh, pulls out his frying pan, starts cooking so that Mario could sneak by. And so that's what Mario does. And Mario just flies right by. Meanwhile, they're having a meeting talking about how Bowser's coming. And they got to prepare. And Princess Peace is like, we're go we're gonna do it. We're gonna um, I'm gonna go talk to Donkey Kong. Don't worry, guys. So there's a backstory to the origin of Peach. Once upon a time, she must have been from another world, and somehow she arrived from the pipes, and they they the mushroom people raised her and then crowned her. Eventually, she became really good at the the obstacle course. Uh, right away, which is almost like she's Rey Skywalker from Star Wars. Rey Palpatine, like a Mary Sue in a way. But I guess maybe not not totally. But, you know, she, she, she said she was really good at it. And so I'm a little bit concerned about that, but I guess it's okay. It's not terrible. She's really good, but I guess she had a lot of experience. And she's from this place. I mean, not originally, but she grew up in the Mushroom Kingdom. Originally, she's from, I don't know where she's from. So you kind of wonder. It makes you think of, you think about uh, Peter Pan. He's from, see, he was from another world. And then he came into the Neverland, the Neverland, as I like, like to call it, the land of the universe. And... Peter Pan be became Peter Pan and and she's kind of like that character and she's you know she's a princess I don't know if there was supposed to be a king depending on the which version of Mario you want to go with because there's a lot of different storylines over the years with Mario and the princess and everybody all the different characters in all the different Games, all the, all the call, all, all the different cartoons and everything. So, I don't know what is canon. Like, what's the canon? Because there's a couple different things that might be a little bit contradictive. I guess we'd have to contact uh, 
the game theory guy on YouTube. It's just a game. A game theory. There's a piece. piece what did I? Uh, a fish. What am I saying? Um, a bunch of flowers. Bowser, the side guys. Bowser. Hey, you know, there's a guy with a mustache. Looks just like you, you know? You know? Oh, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay. So, he's a little weak. Uh, oh, I skipped the part. I already skipped the part where... Uh, so, Luigi, when he first arrived uh, into the Mushroom Kingdom, he he runs into a castle, but there's no ghosts. So, there's no ghosts in this in this movie. And they could have they could have done the uh, Luigi's Mansion. They could have done Mario Time Machine. The uh, Mario is missing. Uh, all of those you know different games out there. Uh, they didn't do that, but I guess they didn't really have time. So instead, he he runs into a castle after running away from the um, the skeleton turtles, and then he gets captured. And Bowser's is already jealous of Mario. Dude, dude. Okay, this is the part where they go to the Donkey Kong world. Donkey Kong's father. There's Donkey Kong showing off. This is the uh, Smash Brothers reference. This is the arena, and everybody's chanting his name. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong. Mario wins the battle. All he had to do was, was become a cat. Meow. This was after becoming small. They were able to uh, design. Uh, they were able to pick out their. Um, a customized cart. There's Bowser fantasizing again. Daydreaming. There's that guy. Pretending to be. Uh, peace. Cross dressing. Oh Bowser also has a piano. And they arrive on the uh, star road. Which you will see in Mario Kart. Peace runs back to the castle to warn everybody Bowser's coming because Bowser was able to capture the the, uh, the apes. She so decided to to like pretend to marry him so that he wouldn't harm the mushrooms. And then she's like, "Just kidding, I'll never marry you." And they start to fight a little bit. She so was able to get um, a power up. Uh, so he was able to get the f a flower power. They start to fight. A little bit. Uh, meanwhile, Mario and Donkey Kong, they escaped the the whale. And now they're coming back. and they're it's like, it's like they're having a competition. They're playing a game. And it's like they're trying to beat the level. So it's like a reference to some of those other... Uh, super the, Like the new adventures of Super Mario Brothers. I almost said Super Band. Superman. Why would I say Superman? Planet of the Apes. He was so jealous he was able to escape from the ice. And then he sent Mr. Bullet, uh, Bullet Bill, uh, to destroy the Earth. I mean, the the, the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, Mario was able to have his uh, Superman moment, his Sonic moment. He was able to hit uh, the bullet. The bullet started going after Mario. Mario seems to have unlimited flying abilities. He goes towards the pipe. And the bullet goes into it. But then somehow that uh, caused everybody to uh, go into the real world. The real world? Uh, so they get sucked into Brooklyn somehow. And so this is like a re reference uh, a reference to the uh, live action uh, Mario movie from 93. Where Bowser is in the real world. Sort of. And so they fight. A little bit. Eventually. Luigi saves the day. Finally. With this. He was able to block the fire. From Bowser. And then together they decided. Uh, well not really. They, they just like. I mean, I don't know if they planned it, but uh, Peace was like, oh, no. And they were they were able to hop into the star. They got the, uh, the power up. 
whatever you call it, power up. Oh no, and they, they start finding everybody. Uh, one of the one of the levels in Mario Kart is in a city like this, and they're able to fight, and everybody's excited when Mario is able able to uh, save the day, and they made uh, Bowser small, and Mario's like, I told you, I would uh, get you a um, a turtle as a pet, and. They lived happily ever after. So it's it's a pretty good movie. It's not as good as the Lego movie. But it's um it's probably the best Mario movie we've ever had. So I'll take it. Why not? It's pretty good. <laughs>